This is Chris Kell with just a, simple, a few simple training principles to go along with your core complete program. Now two of the main things to think about when performing any exercise in our core complete program is keeping our abs on, keeping the butt cheeks tight, and maintaining what is called a neutral spine. All right? I'm going to demonstrate those things. And when we think about a neutral spine, we want to, we want to think about in ranges of motion. All right? If this is my in range of flexion where I'm flexing my back up as high as I can, and this is my in range of extension where I'm arching my back as low as I can, we want to find a posture about midway between these two points. So a slight arch in my back, my back is essentially flat. This is the posture of what we call neutral. All right? This is going to protect the back. In this position, our joints are in a supported position. They're able to move and breathe, and we're not in this like in range loaded position where we're putting a lot of stress on the spine. Throughout each exercise, we want to maintain this posture in order to get optimal results. All right? If you find that you fall into an excessive arch or you're dipping up excessively, stop. All right? Find this neutral posture again and reassume this. This is one of the most important points in our program. The goal of each exercise is to keep the spine neutral, to keep our back flat like a table and build endurance. The second thing to think about is keeping the abs on. Too many people when they're doing these exercises are performing them by just doing them willy-nilly, moving quickly, and feeling this in the low back and places that we're not looking for. The whole point of, of when we perform planks, dead bugs, whatever it may be, is to keep our butt cheeks tight and our abs on. All right? that, that's telling all of these core muscles to tighten around our spine like a weight belt and support this neutral spinal position. All right? This is making them work and that's going to ensure that we're, we're creating the stress necessary for muscular development. All right, so before I do anything here, I'm going to find this neutral spine, I'm going to tighten my abs, I'm going to tighten my butt cheeks, and I'm going to maintain this brace that, or this contraction in both places the entire time. You shouldn't be tightening so much that you're holding your breath. It should be maybe 50%, but you should keep this on the whole time. If you start to lose this and you feel your back start to arch or dip, I want you to stop, come down, and reinitiate. Okay, so again, looks like this. My butt cheeks are tight, my abs are tight. I'm just trying to maintain this throughout whatever motion I'm performing. And that brings me to our second point, move slowly. Okay, when we're moving quickly, it makes it much more difficult to maintain proper form. Um, we start to get more loading of what is called the extremities or kind of the arms, the legs, versus the core, which is not what we're looking for here. All right? In order to engage our core as a stabilizer, or kind of um, you know, get this working like we want it to, we want to move slowly enough to allow it to adapt. All right? My goal with these exercises is not volume. I don't want to do as many as I can. I want to stay up for as long as I can with proper form, maintaining this abdominal contraction. In order to do so, I'm moving slowly. With each movement, I'm pressing in the ground, keeping my abs tight, and I'm just trying to pause and allow these to stabilize. All right? The slower I move, truthfully, the harder it's going to be the more I'm going to feel it where I want it, all right, the, better off, the better the result is going to be. All right, this also leads to the third and final point. You should not be holding your breath throughout any of these exercises. All right? If you find that you're doing so, all right, I want you to stop and I, I don't want you to squeeze as hard. All right? It's not about squeezing so tight that we're cutting off our circulation. It's about maintaining this contraction in a slow and controlled manner. All right, now we did this in quadruped, by the same token, we want to do the same thing when we're in these supine positions. We're on our back, all right, I'm pressing my back into the ground, I'm keeping my abs tight, and I'm moving slowly. Again, I'm pausing, I'm pausing, keeping my back pressed into the ground. If you feel yourself start to lose pressure on the ground, your back starts to arch, simply stop, reinitiate, and just relax, okay? This is not a, a situation where we want to be, again, squeezing, you know, having our, our faces red, be able to breathe throughout each exercise. It shouldn't feel like that much effort um, until, you know, you start to burn here and then it will. But the point is, you know, keep it light, be able to breathe, don't overexert yourself, and you're going to get fantastic results with planks, dead bugs, and side planks.